still on Bishop David Edekpa's birthday. Now I thought to do something interesting and I had this idea of compiling funny moments with Bishop David Edekpa while he's ministering. Now, if you are a member of Living Faith Church or you listen to Bishop's message, you would know that when Bishop is preaching, there's always a joke somewhere or something to laugh about. So I thought to put together these videos and I do hope you enjoy it. Bye! You don't wait to develop physical muscles. You align with the demands of developing it. Eating right and engaging in right exercises. Then the muscles are building. They are building. You don't see that in your room and say, oh God, my muscle must grow. Muscle grow. Muscle grow. I'm a member. I'm a winner. I belong to Faith Tabernacle, the headquarter of faith in the world. Now, muscle grow. Muscle grow. Grow. <laughs> Amen. Jesus said, they said, why could we not fast? He said, you eat all the time. This kind were not out of my prayer and fasting. You know the Pharisees complain that your disciples eat often. Eh? Those fellows? Go. Not. What again? Water? Guguru? Do you know the church has lost such discipline that people are enjoying? Yes. Or well, not in our church. And if they are there, they won't come near where I can see them. Because I see you, I will bump on you straight. You move your mouth where are you. You are in area court, your mouth is closed. You are in the court of the most high, you are moving your mouth. Who are you? How oh, many people, people? People have become so careless that you even find pastor. Excuse me, give me water. <laughs> if your name is Ayone Day and you have an American, what is it? Passport. Uh, it's another American. <laughs> there are original Americans and there are adopted Americans. Amen. And there are visiting America. No one don't have any passport. <laughs> so, I mean, so don't let them deceive you. There is no irony day in American uh, lineage. <laughs> Amen. It doesn't matter. And I don't want to mention their names, and you know their names anyway. <laughs> but your own, everybody knows that this is irony day. Because I own it. There are many, many baby adults. Who <laughs> oh, will call their father and ask for transport money to work? It's working. It's working. And the father too. Okay, don't ask next time over get. In my own place, you will trek to your leg bend. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I came through a hardliner's training. <laughs> Somebody came to me in Kaduna many years ago. He said, he has no sound for money. I said, as you are walking, God will be telling you what to do. <laughs> Start walking. He burst into laughter and started walking. <laughs> there are many baby adults. Anything. I tell my mommy for you. <laughs> Praise God. And I guess there are many more of that among the women. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, uh, there, there should be many. I tell my mommy for you. <laughs> now it's also a mommy. <laughs> you know, some people they come to church with bottles of uh, communion, and then they <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
See, see, you collect their bottles today. <laughs> what bottle are you carrying about? It's your understanding of this mystery that works. Not your physical exertion. What are you carrying bottles about? Don't query God, oh. You are not his boss. <laughs> Can you imagine a staff in your office and you are the CEO? He now wrote you a query. <laughs> and say, explain why you should not be disciplined for coming late. Yesterday, day before, and the day before, before. <laughs> Reply, answer this query within the next 24 hours. <laughs> Amen. He just tells security men to carry him and deposit him with police that he has problems. <laughs> God, so why are you wasting letter? Why are you wasting your words? Oh God, come and tell me now. Why? I've been serving you for the past 20 years. You left me at the same place. Is that how to be God? <laughs> Explain now. <laughs> no, no, no. I preached my first message in 1970. I've been smiling like this all my life. You can't depress me no matter how, you hard, how hard you try you can't get crashed into his presence. In his presence, there must be fullness of joy, not partial joy. Not I'm happy for everything except for this one. When you are happy for that one, you come. The gate men, they are angels. They are not from your village. You can't speak your dialect to them. <laughs> it is stop. You know the way they do at the airport? Your case is under consideration, so... <laughs> fullness of joy. You won't get there. When you find a man come to church and return back, still moody. He didn't get to his presence. He only go to church. <laughs> he didn't get to his presence. You won't miss his presence. Yeah. It takes joy to get there and it takes joy to stay there. When your joy dries up, they pick you up and say, go. Your tenor is over. <laughs> Amen. Please don't turn your back on God. He doesn't need you for anything. You need him for everything. I'm not coming to church again. Go to the shrine. It's your choice. I'm not coming to church again. Go to the old court. That's your choice. Then you see suffering the next level. You will wear only pants and carry calabash on your head in the night. And if may God Say, who are you? You don't talk. They will beat nonsense out of you. <laughs> Amen. Now, there is nothing God can do to me that is no better than the goodest that the devil can do. <laughs> Amen. It's my father. And the devil is my adversary. Okay, what do you want to get from your adversary that will compare with what you get from your father? I beg on that. <laughs> Settle down with Jesus. I've done that now for 50 years plus. I know 50 years is no yoke. <laughs> you know, when you carry God's presence, every door opens to you on its own accord. Now, if you are in the convoy of the president of your nation, amen, amen. can last man stop you? <laughs> this is how they will stand. <laughs> now, they can't now stop you alone and say, who are you? You're, you know, everybody on the presidential convoy has presidential covering. You get to any company, all the MDA, all the directors will just turn. Then you walk inside. <laughs> if he's respecting uh, God of honor, <laughs> why you have his company? No door can be shut against any man that carries God's person. <laughs>
this church was once in a store that had no cross ventilation. Every worshiper was in the oven. You wear three piece suit, they swear to come out of the third one. <laughs> we were having a nice time. My family and I were living in the office, having a great time preparing for every service. I was sweeping the church because people have not come. You cannot ask those who have come to come and sweep, they won't come again. <laughs> I was the gate man. If you are an arm robber, you knock the door, I will be the one to open to you. Beware of complaints and murmuring upon your bed with your wife. Beware of complaining and murmuring to your children. I don't know, but uh, you know, I've done everything that they said we should do, but you know, nothing has changed. And I, I have to tell you, and my family people, free of your secret complaint. You didn't tell anybody, you know. You see that in your car? Well, it's been a very rough year. Very rough. And it's supposed to be a new done year. Every day we say new done. I didn't see any new done. It's been old done, old done, old done. Everybody believes in prosperity. Not everybody will prove that they believe. Amen. Abraham's blessings are my man. I, I love that. Abraham's blessings are my bless in the morning, bless in the evening. Abraham's blessing. Are my, what are the words of Abraham? Abraham's works are not mine. Abraham's works are not mine. I don't care what anybody says. Thank God for the one megad you have in your house. We had the megad in our school many years ago. When tips came, the megad started running to principal's house. <laughs> I was knocking, open, open. He said, why? Tip, tip. <laughs> the mega who should protect the principal now took the thief. <laughs> Not that they took him, he ran. He ran to the place. <laughs> now, they didn't say she was the principal, he was the one who went there. <laughs> For our prayers to be answered, we must pray as one having authority. This is so important. Many of us are too beggarly on the prayer altar to qualify for answers. We are too beggarly. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I've been serving you for 21 years. 21 years don't matter to God. Though. A thousand years is like one day. So what should 21 years be? He will tell his angel, what is that one saying? <laughs> 21 years. What is 21 years? One second. <laughs> Amen. If 1,000 years like one day, now you calculate. Because I know you have calculators. There was a very funny story told many years ago. Um, in primary school, they were asking each one, what's your father's business? I'm a farmer. I mean, my father is a farmer. Your own is a trader. They got to one young man, they say, was your father's occupation? I said, my king. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he did. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Your father's occupation is king. <laughs> because Jesus is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. So, <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. <laughs>